So my name is Millie Coombs. I am a senior and I play for the women's tennis team where I'm a captain as well. So my name is Olivia Dantrafoy. Uh, I'm a fifth year architecture student. Um, I started in 2016 as a freshman here and now I'm in my final year as a fifth year senior. Why did you choose Jefferson? Um, it was definitely a gut reaction. I just, it, something just clicked and it felt right. I liked how there was a mixture of both being close to the city and close to the nature and things like that. Um, I thought the tennis team had a lot of potential and I wanted to be a part of it. And I also liked how for my major there was a lot of opportunities for undergrads to do research. So that was something that I was definitely drawn towards. So I chose Jefferson. Uh, so I was looking at a, you know, a couple D1 schools. I was uh, looking at uh, not potential start, but I was looking at like Penn State and JIT. But uh, I wanted to study architecture, and that caused a lot of issues. Um, so what made me decide Je uh, Jefferson at the time, Philadelphia University, was that I could do a balance. And I really wanted the balance in my life because I could focus on academics, but then I could also take a break and go play tennis. Versus at the Division One level, it was either you go all in on tennis and I can't study what I wanted to study um, and you know the sport really dictated your life so I really wanted that balance and being able to be like hey sorry professor I gotta go to a match can I make up the work versus on the the, the level of commitment on division one was just I just would have made it so difficult to make it happen so that's why I chose Jefferson and plus the the smaller school size I really like to be able to make a an impact versus you know the, the bigger the school is the harder it is to have an impact when did you become interested in tennis and why? Um, I started playing tennis when I was six. Um, I, I played a lot of different sports when I was younger. I played football, or you guys call it soccer, um, cricket, cross country, but tennis was the one that I stuck with and I guess I was the best at. So yeah, it was the one that I, um, I, I stuck with, so here I am. <laughs> So uh, I wanted to play football when I was young, but my mom didn't want to let me do a contact sport. So when I was 13, I, uh, she signed me up for a tennis clinic uh, in Reading, Pennsylvania. So that's how it all started. Uh, I started a little bit late, but uh, then I just picked it up from there. My dad came over from Romania and just me and my sister started training every day. And that's how it kind of just led to where I am right now with tennis. What would you say is the hardest thing to learn about the sport? The hardest thing. Um, I think it takes a long time to be able to play. It's, it takes there's a lot of hand and eye coordination. Um, you got to be patient with it. It's, it's not something where you can just like rock up and you can play tennis. It's a lot of a lot of years of time and dedication. So, but it's worthwhile once you can play well. It's really like satisfying. I would definitely say it's the, the, the learning curve is that you can look at the sport and it looks so simple. It's kind of like in football, you see like a, a big touchdown that's like 50 yards and it looks like, wow, it looks, it looks very simple on TV or in real life, you know, if you watch a game. But then the hours that come into actually getting the strokes down and uh, increasing your level, because it's just, it's just a repetitive sport. You can't just walk in and be all athletic. Um, and that's the one thing where I think a lot of people don't realize about tennis is it's very skill based. And that's where I struggled in the beginning because I went all athletic on it and didn't have the best results. What major are you and how did you become interested in it? I'm a biochemistry major and I'm minoring in genetics. And I became interested in doing that because I ultimately want to go into cancer research. Um, unfortunately, I had a lot of family um, uh, experience with it and it's something that I really want to, it's definitely impacted my potential future job choices and it's something that I'm passionate about and is what I would really like to go into and do. So, and I thought biochemistry with a minor in genetics was the best way to go about that. So I'm an architecture major. Um, so basically I signed up, uh, I was looking at engineering programs, aeronautical engineering, uh, but there was very few schools. It was either Penn State or I moved down to Florida. There was a D2 school in Florida that offered it, um, or I went to like ele electrical engineering at like Wilkes-Barre Division III school, but none of those just fit my build of what I wanted, that I wanted to play a little bit higher level tennis, uh, D2, where you know you play like against Concordia, where guys have come from Penn State or USC that have transferred into those areas. Uh, but I ended up choosing architecture, thinking that it was more math-based, 
and I found out that it's really much more like design based so it's kind of a total 180 but I'm happy that I ended up choosing it because as an architect uh, major you really have to diversify your skill set and being able to time manage everything because your classes are much more longer than the average. What is your dream job? Dream job has to, I mean I love to travel but I, it's got to be being a cancer researcher. My dream job is having the opportunity to create the life around me that I want to. So it doesn't really fit the basic of, uh, you know, as an architect job or, uh, you know, anywhere else. I kind of want to create my own business and I'm, I'm all over the place a little bit right now, but it's all about learning experience. That's, that's what that'd be my dream job, is just being able to help people. What is someone most likely to see you doing when you're not playing tennis? Um, yes, either hanging out with my roommates or studying, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, they will either see me, I work a lot, but I also play a lot of video games. So it's one of those two they'll, they'll see me doing. <laughs> if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I think probably New Zealand. Um, never been in that direction of the, of the world, but um, you know, all the pictures I've seen look beautiful and seems like a cool place to go. If I could visit anywhere in the world, I think I'd go back to my hometown in Romania and see it to Barmatia uh, and just visit that place again because I haven't been there in over 10 years. What is the best advice you received and who gave it to you? Could be tennis, could be life. Okay, yeah. um, I think I definitely grew up with like a strong work ethic and anything I wanted I had to work hard for. But um, tennis advice probably has to be from Coach Patton. Um, as soon as he came in last year, he said, you know, you, that you can beat anyone if you, you just have to figure it out, basically. And um, that's something that's definitely stuck with me, and I definitely at least try to um, apply in my matches. I think, I think the best uh, advice I've ever received was, um, I forget who's, who said it, but it was, it was between freshman and sophomore year. Um, and I think it was my assistant tennis coach at the time, and he said, just go for it for anything in life and then look back and see, you know, because I was in a position where I would overthink everything. That was like me freshman year, I'm sure a lot of people are the same way. You don't know what you're doing. So I overthought everything before I made any decisions. So to this day, I still, like if I'm starting a new business or I go for a, a, a big tennis shot, I will stand by that decision and I will take the repercussions if I don't make it. Um, because that's what I've found out is the best way to learn in life is to just go for it. And then you learn from it instead of just you know, sitting, studying everything you can about it and then making the decision. Because by that point, you'll be, you'll probably be way too scared to make any decision because you have so many options that you've thought of and you're not gonna do what your heart wants to do. So I've, I've always gone by, go by my heart. That's what I think is the right decision at the moment. And I just learned from there. What Grand Slam tennis tournament do you wish you could attend and why? Oh, um, has to be Wimbledon, I think. I've been to Wimbledon before. Um, and that's, it's an incredible experience. It's kind of like the, the, the most iconic Grand Slam, I think. And if I was gonna somehow play any Grand Slam, that would be the one I would choose as well. I, it, for me, it's always been the US Open. I did play in the US Open qualifiers um, where I did beat a uh, former pro. <laughs> but after that, I got absolutely destroyed. But for me, I would definitely, in the future, if I could you know, make a comeback, definitely be the US Open. That's always been my dream, Grand Slam. Favorite professional tennis player? Uh, it's gotta be Roger Federer. Roger Federer. TV show you can watch over and over? Oh, there's so many. Um, the Office. I'm, I'm a big YouTube guy. M Mr. Beast. <laughs> Favorite musical artist? I think Fleetwood Mac. Uh, Justin Bieber. Funniest teammate? Oh, um, Elisa Hardesky. Absolutely me. <laughs> You're not your own teammate. <laughs> uh, all, right, all right, I'll give it, I'll give it to Norm, our tennis coach. He's 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 all right. Beach or mountains? Beach. I live on an island at home, so that's yeah. It's got to be beaches. Definitely the mountains. I'm not a beach guy at all. I can't stand the sand. Biggest difference between the U.S. and the U.K. Biggest difference. Um, I guess um, certain words. I think I say certain words and people are like, what are you saying? And um, having to 
kind of translate. Obviously, it's the same language, but there are differences in the language. And I think that's something that kind of surprised me a little bit. But um, yeah, but, yeah, I would say maybe like certain words and things like that. Favorite pre-match meal? Definitely some McDonald's. I really like McDonald's. Like the, the Coke and the dollar burgers. That's just my always go-to match, pre-match. 